everyone pretty much knows that exercising is good for your health and longevity, but there are some additional tips and tricks that can have a positive effect on your health span and reducing risk of mortality. So in this video, I'm going to cover these top hacks that are not exercise. It's showtime. The first thing that I'll start with is sauna use. I have made multiple videos about the benefits of taking a sauna, but the basic overview is that taking a sauna four times per week compared to once a week is associated with 63% reduced heart disease mortality, 65% lower Alzheimer's risk, and 66% lower risk of dementia. That's a massive effect. In fact, I think that taking a sauna is the second most powerful thing you can do to your health after exercise. The sauna mimics a lot of the benefits of exercise, through causing hyperthermia or a mild fever. The hyperthermia activates heat shock proteins that repair damage and missile the proteins, clear out free radicals and debris via autophagy, increase glutathione the antioxidant, regulate cardiac muscle function and reduce muscle catabolism. In one of the studies, those who went to the sauna four to seven times a week had a 63% less likely to experience cardiac death and 50% less likely to die from cardiovascular ailments compared to those who use it once a week. Their all cause mortality risk was also 40% lower. So as you can see, those benefits are compared to taking a sauna once per week which is still a significant difference compared to not doing the sauna at all so imagine what are the health benefits between people who take the sauna four or more times per week versus never now the sauna is very popular in the nordics and eastern europe it's not so popular in other western countries like the uk or the us in finland there are as many saunas as there are people and even in the baltics and nordic countries you can pretty much get access to sauna very easily. In the Western countries, however, they're more likely to use the infrared saunas that also have very similar health benefits. When traditional saunas warm up your body from the outside in, then infrared saunas heat the body directly from the inside out via the infrared wavelengths. You have to remember that the benefits of the sauna come from your elevated body temperature or hyperthermia. So it doesn't really matter how you elevate your body temperature. The key aspect is that your body temperature will rise. Usually the infrared saunas stay at a lower temperature than traditional saunas but that's not a problem because infrared saunas will still elevate your body temperature a lot more at a lower temperature of the room because the infrared wavelengths penetrate your body and they will heat up the body from the inside out so you will still experience the benefits of hyperthermia with an infrared sauna so it doesn't matter if you use a regular traditional sauna or infrared sauna or the temperature doesn't matter in that case what matters more is that your body temperature will still rise this brings me to the second hack which is the far infrared saunas. Infrared radiation is a form of electromagnetic energy that's invisible to the naked eye. Naturally, you get exposed to infrared radiation from the sun. Infrared radiation is categorized into near infrared, mid infrared, and far infrared light. Different infrared sauna brands use either near infrared light or far infrared light, or both together. Here are some of the research benefits of far infrared light therapy. It can accelerate wound healing through increased microcirculation, improve vascular function and blood flow, reduce markers of oxidative stress and vascular endothelial inflammation, reduce stress levels, improve muscle stiffness, and increase cerebral blood flow. Japan has developed their own infrared therapy in the late 1980s called Weion therapy which literally means soothing warm therapy. It involves 60 degrees of far infrared ray sauna for 15 minutes, followed by being under warm blankets in bed for 30 minutes once a day. In a study on 49 chronic heart failure patients, weigh-on therapy significantly improved quality of life as well as cardiac function and exercise capacity. The same treatment protocol has been seen to improve vascular endothelial function and cardiac function in 20 chronic heart failure patients. Weigh-on therapy can improve prognosis of chronic heart failure and reduce cardiac events in patients with chronic heart failure. A 2018 systematic review and meta-analysis on seven studies found that infrared sauna at 60 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes followed by 30 minutes of rest in a warm environment was linked to improvements in cardiac function. So far infrared saunas do apparently have some benefits for cardiac function and they may also mimic some aspects of regular sauna use. So in my opinion you can do either the traditional sauna or the infrared sauna both have similar benefits. Now a very common question I get asked about is the infrared blankets. Blankets where you're wrapped inside a blanket that emanates infrared light. It can reach the the optimal therapeutic temperature quite fast so you just lay there for up to like 15 20 minutes and you can get the very similar benefits in terms of elevating your body temperature causing these other beneficial adaptations that you would otherwise get from a regular traditional infrared sauna like i said bond charge has the best infrared blankets because they're low emf and they have the specific therapeutic wavelengths related to far infrared therapy and they can also reach the optimal therapeutic temperature of 70 to 80 degrees celsius that you see in the traditional finnish sauna studies you can 
check it out at bondcharge.com and use the code SEAM for a 15% discount. The third strategy is early time-restricted eating. Over the past few years, intermittent fasting as well as time-restricted eating have had their ups and downs, like they have become quite popular, they have lost popularity, etc. And there have been some studies that find there is no significant difference in terms of body composition as well as metabolic health between a time-restricted eating window and a non-time-restricted eating window if the calorie intake is the same. But regardless, from an optimal anti-aging and longevity perspective, then you would still want to practice some aspect of earlier time-restricted eating. What I mean mean by that is that you don't really want to go to bed on a full stomach and you don't want to have like a massive dinner before bed. The reason has to do with your melatonin production. Your melatonin increases before bed, which is the sleep hormone, but melatonin also has many antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. Melatonin is generally produced in the absence of artificial light. So blue and green light from technology suppresses melatonin production, but your gut also produces a significant amount of melatonin. And it's been seen that calorie restriction and being in a fast state increases melatonin production in the gut by up to 400 percent so the key here is that going to bed on a slightly emptier stomach meaning that you stop eating sooner in the day rather than having like a very late dinner that's going to increase your gastrointestinal melatonin production which will then have some other systemic benefits in terms of the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects in the gut and throughout the body because of increased melatonin levels as a general rule of thumb i would say that you want to stop eating at least three to four hours a bed to give yourself time to digest the food and to also not be as full when right before going to bed. Just don't have like a massive amount of calories immediately before going to bed. Like I said, exercise is the most powerful anti-aging strategy, but there are some additional lifestyle habits that I just mentioned that have many complementary effects on the benefits of exercise and just anti-aging and longevity as a whole. Do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.